Welcome to the NTSC 2017 Stage 1 Discussion Class at Ekra. Hi, I am very excited to attend this year's NTSC Paper Discussion at Ekra. Yeah, me too. Okay, let's have a seat. Here we go. Let's begin this year's NTSC Paper Discussion. A very easy question was asked in NTSC 2017. We said that if x plus root two is a factor of this expression, then we need to find out the value of k. It can be simplified. If x plus root two is a factor, it means x is equal to minus root two will make this expression zero. So if we put x equal to minus root two, so k minus root two whole square, then minus root two into x minus root two plus one, this becomes zero because this is factor. So if we simplify, what I get here, two k, then plus two. Plus one equals zero. So from here we can say k is equal to minus of three by two. In this question, we are required to express the sum of these two as a single decimal. So we can very easily simplify. Zero point two three power becomes zero point two three. Two three two three is repeating, and zero point two three power means three is repeating. Now if I add, simply we can see that this is six, this is five, this is six, this is five. This is six. This is five. This is six, and this is four. So I can see that my six five six five is repeating. So I can say this is zero point four six five bar. So zero point four six five bar is the correct answer. Here two equations are given, and we need to find out the values of the x and y that satisfy the equations. But these two equations, we have x y and also product of x and y. So let's try to make these two equations linear equations. And only two variables. So if I divide this by x, I what I get here? Three by y plus two by x is equal to thirteen. And from here I get here four by y minus five by x is equal to two. So let one by y and one by x be the variables. And if we simplify these two equations, we get the solutions of one by x and one by y. So on simplifying, we get the value of one by x is equal to two and one by y is equal to three. So x becomes half, and y becomes one by three. In this question, a tower is given and two points are given, and it is also given that the angle of elevation of the point at distance of nine meter and the angle of elevation from the point Q at distance of sixteen meter. The angles are complementary, and we need to find out the height of the tower. So we know that what is tan alpha? Tan of alpha is h by nine, and tan beta is h by sixteen. Now alpha plus beta is ninety degree means tan of alpha plus beta becomes infinity. Tan of ninety is infinity, and tan alpha plus beta is tan alpha. Plus tan beta upon one minus tan alpha tan beta. When this is infinity, means the denominator is zero. Denominator is zero means tan alpha tan beta becomes one. So tan alpha tan beta becomes one. One becomes it means h by nine into h by sixteen is one. So h square is square root of this. So we what we get here? H is equal to twelve meter. This question says that if sine theta is equal to p and cos theta is equal to q, then The value of this expression we need to find. So from here I can take out p common out. So one minus two p square, and if I take q common out, I get here two q square minus one. Now one minus two sine square theta. So p by q is sine theta by cos theta. So I get here tan theta. Then one minus two sine square theta upon two cos square theta minus one. Now, what is one minus two sine square theta? We know that we know the formula of cos two theta is cos square theta minus sine square theta, two cos square theta minus one, and one minus two sine square theta. So this becomes cos two theta by cos two theta. So what we get to find out is tan theta. Uh, in this question, a parallelogram is given, and it is given that A P. Is basis of this angle and BP is the basis of this angle. Then we need to find out the value of this angle APB. Suppose if this angle is two alpha, then this becomes alpha because this is the bisector, 
and if this angle is 2 beta then this becomes beta because this is the bisector now we apply the properties of the parallelogram that this angle should be equal to this angle so this also becomes 2 alpha and if this is 2 beta then this also becomes 2 beta now the sum of the angles is 360 degree so 2 alpha plus 2 alpha 4 alpha plus 4 beta is 360 it means alpha plus beta becomes 90 degree again in this triangle alpha plus beta plus this angle is 180 degree so this angle becomes 180 minus alpha plus beta and alpha plus beta is 90 degree so this angle becomes 180 minus alpha plus beta which is 90 degree this is a very straightforward question based on circle properties and it says the circle is given the center O and this core substance x degree at the, at the circumference and another angle y degree is given we need to find out the value of x plus y and we know that if any core substance x degree on circumference then it substance double the angle at the center so this angle becomes 2x degree now this is 2 degree this is y degree now these two are the same because they are radius so this angle also y degree now the sum of the angles is 180 degree so 2x plus 2y is 180 it means x plus y becomes 90 degree this question says that a triangle is given which is right angle at C and also CD is perpendicular to AB and AD is given 4 cm and DB is given 9 cm now we need to find out the ratio of BC is to AC BC is to AC now if this angle is theta then this is 90 degree then this becomes 90 minus theta now this angle is 90 degree and this is 90 minus theta then this angle becomes theta so from here tan theta is CD upon AD so CD upon AD CD by 4 and from here tan theta is 9 upon CD and both are same tan theta it means CD by 4 is 9 by CD so if we simplify CD square becomes 9 4 9 into 4 it means CD becomes 6 now CD is equal to 6 now we need to find out these two ratios so again we take this triangle and in this triangle if I take cos theta then cos theta is equal to 4 by AC and in this triangle if I take again if I take cos theta so cos theta is 6 by BC so if I divide, divide these two what I get here cos theta cos theta get cancelled so what I get here is equal to 4 by AC upon 6 by BC so from here BC by AC becomes 6 by 4 to 3 by 2 this was a pretty straightforward question it was asked in NTC 2017 and we can directly compare with the Q formula and we can say that this is a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b where a is nothing but x to power 1 by 3 and b is y to power 1 by 3 so a cube becomes x and b cube becomes y so this is nothing but x to power 1 by 3 plus y to power 1 by 3 whole cube so this is the cube of these two terms so the cube root of this is x to power 1 by 3 plus y to power 1 by 3